The Iran's Revolutionary Guards unveiled Sunday a short-range ballistic missile that they said can be powered by a new generation of engines designed to put satellites into orbit. The Guard Sapanu's website said the ROD-500 missile was equipped with new Zohair engines made of composite materials lighter than on earlier steel models. It also unveiled Salman engines made of the same materials, but with a movable nozzle for the delivery of satellites into space. The ROD was a new generation missile that has half the weight of a FATA-110 missile, but with 200 km more range, it added. The FATA-110 is a ballistic ground-to-ground -ground missile first unveiled in 2002. Its latest generation has a range of 300 km, 186 miles. Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Commander Major General Hossein Salami unveiled the missile and engines alongside IRGC Aerospace Chief Brigadier General Amirali Hajizadeh. The complicated achievements on the bleeding edge of global technology that were unveiled today are our key to entering space, Salami said. Salami noted the movable nozzle on the new engine allowed maneuverability beyond the atmosphere and amounted to a leap in modern missile technology. The new technologies that made the missiles cheaper, lighter, faster and more precise could be applied to all of Iran's missile classes, he added. Tensions between Iran and its arch-foe the United States have soared since May 2018 when U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew from a nuclear deal that offered Tehran sanctions relief in return for curbs to prevent it acquiring nuclear weapons. Washington says it seeks to rein in Iran's ballistic missile program as well as its destabilizing behavior in the region. It has since slapped crippling sanctions on Iran as part of its maximum pressure campaign, with Tehran hitting back by progressively rolling back commitments to the nuclear deal. The U.S. has also raised concerns in the past about Iran's satellite program, saying the launch of a carrier rocket in January 2019 amounted to a violation of curbs on its development of ballistic missiles. Iran maintains it has no intention of acquiring nuclear weapons and says its aerospace activities are peaceful and comply with the UN Security Council resolution. Citing the Iranian press agency TASNA, the new ballistic missile launcher uses automatic and smart operating systems used to launch multiple long-range ballistic missiles. The local-made missile launcher system was unveiled by IRGC, Iranian Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, Commander Major General Hossein Salami. According to the analysis of the Army Recognition Editorial Team, the missile mounted on the new launcher system seems to be the Shahab-3, a medium-range ballistic missile that has a range of approximately 1,280 kilometers, 800 miles. The Shahab-3 ballistic missile has been developed from the North Korean Nodong-1 ballistic missile also known as Hwasong-7 that was acquired by Iran in the mid-1990s. The first flight test of the Shahab-3 was conducted in July 1998. The last firing test was carried out in 2003, and the missile successfully flew over a distance of 1,300 km U.S. Air Force National Air and Space Intelligence Center estimates that, as of June 2017 fewer than 50 launchers were operationally deployed Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere. Iran is making robust strides in developing ballistic missiles, with the apparent aim of being able to deliver nuclear warheads well beyond its borders. Iran's modifications of the North Korean Nodong missile, resulting in the longer-range Gadra-1 
and its recent success in testing locally produced space launch vehicles and two-stage solid propellant missiles have heightened concerns. Yet the worst-case scenario projected at the end of the 20th century about Iran being able to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of striking the United States within five years has not materialized. The IS strategic dossier on Iran's ballistic missile capabilities and that assessment aims to contribute to the policy debate about Iran's strategic challenges by establishing a shared understanding of the missile programs. Produced by an international team of experts, the dossier offers the most detailed information available in the public domain about Iran's liquid and solid-fueled missiles and its indigenous production capabilities. The dossier also analyses the military and strategic effectiveness of Iran's potential arsenal, including both conventional and non-conventional warheads.